Hi there Homestead, it's Elizabeth from Community and for the next few videos we're going to be talking about the e-commerce option in Website Builder. For this video specifically, we'll be talking about how to add the e-commerce upgrade to your website. So to get started, you'll need to log into your Homestead account if you're not already and go ahead and go into the Website Builder. Once you're in the Builder, there are two places you can go to upgrade the e-commerce. You can either click on this Upgrade button in the top right-hand corner, or you can go ahead and click on the Store option on this left panel. Once you click on that, you'll see another blue button, and this one will say Upgrade Now. Either option does the same thing. I do recommend saving your site before you do either option because it's going to bring you into a new window for the Purchase option. So save the site and then click the Upgrade option. If you haven't saved your site, you're going to get this error message, so cancel, save, and then click upgrade again. It shouldn't give you that error message. The page that it's going to bring you to is the option to confirm the purchase. For monthly billing accounts, the price is $9.99. It will adjust the pricing for annual and biannual accounts. And once you're finished with this page, go ahead and click submit. Now don't refresh this page or anything, just click go to my websites and it'll bring you back into Websites Manager and you want to go ahead and go back into Website Builder to start actually creating your store. So in Website Builder, at this point you're going to click on Store on the left and you're going to see a button that says Create a Store. So click on that and our builder is going to set the store up for you. After you've done that, you'll go ahead and add products, adjust the settings, stuff like that to actually get your store set up. But this is the store created on your website. And if you're done with the store settings, you always can click back to editor to go back into the main builder. One note I want to make is that when you create a store, it's going to automatically add a store page, not only to your website, but to your navigation menu. So if you're not ready to show it yet, you can hide the store from the navigation menu while you're building it. When you're done building it, just go ahead and unhide those options and people will be able to see it once you publish the site. So that's it for how to add the store to your website. In further videos, we'll go ahead and show you how to add products, how to change the settings, and a couple more options.